Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We have our first winter storm watches for the weekend system. I should emphasize this is for ice primarily and rain. There is not going to be much snow at all with this, even in the mountains. So this is not a huge winter event by any stretch of the imagination. And for the Charlotte area, this could be a non-event, just a miserable cold rain. But there is an area of concern for travel early Saturday morning. And that's what we're going to focus on today because that's really the area of greatest concern. There's the winter storm watch. Now remember, winter storm watches can be issued for combinations of snow, sleet, or freezing rain. In this case, it's a combination of those, but primarily freezing rain. The freezing rain could accumulate up to two tenths of an inch from south of Asheville up through the Lake Lure area, and then heading into Morganton, you know, McDowell County, uh, Burke County, Caldwell, Alexander County. Now, before you ask, yes, this will likely be extended up to Wilkes and up in here. I expect there to be some kind of advisory, either freezing rain, uh, ice storm warnings possible to the north, but more likely in our area, there's probably going to be some freezing rain advisories and maybe winter weather advisories for some of the surrounding counties. So uh, it doesn't mean you're out of the woods. It just means there's more confidence in the winter storm watch right now in that area. So let's talk about the storm. Where is it? Well, it's back here. It's coming into Arizona and New Mexico, moving into Texas right now. Uh, we have cold air moving into the region, kind of setting the table for all this. And this will march across the country and be here by the time we get to Saturday. Let's take a look at the wide range future cast, and then we'll focus in on the specifics. All right, let's get right to the wide view here first. We'll take a look at this thing moving across the country. You can see the high pressure in control currently is going to be a pretty cold high pressure. So this is the source of cold air. This is our, our wedge high. It's in a pretty good position right here. The problem is it's not going to be there long. It's going to move out. And that's not necessarily a problem. I mean, that's a problem if you want to see this be more of a winter weather event. Um, because it's moving out, that means the source of our cold air is moving out as well. So there's going to be some cold air trapped against the mountains when this first precipitation gets here late Friday night. And we're looking at maybe the first batches after midnight, Friday night into Saturday morning. So you can see predominantly a lot of rain, but anywhere you see like the orange or reds, that's ice. Now there could be some snow or sleet. I think I, I don't want to discount that, um, but this is probably more sleet ice rain than snow unless you're in some of the highest highest elevation so yeah early on saturday we could see a quick glazing of ice but because the high pressure is gone and now the winds are switching around to the southeast we're going to see things warm up and the fact that freezing rain is a self-limiting process i'm going to do a separate video on that but one of the things you got to know when you create ice you remove heat from the water to lower its temperature to the freezing point that heat's got to go somewhere it goes into the atmosphere and slowly warms things up unless you have constant air being replaced, cold air being replaced from the Northeast. So when you don't have that supply of cold air, eventually freezing rain will shut itself off because it actually slowly warms the atmosphere. And that's what happens combined with a strong southerly jet, cranks in here, pushes this, and it becomes all ice. And by midday, probably on Saturday, everybody is going to be switching over to rain. And temperatures are going to be at 31, 32, 33, right around the freezing mark. Remember, 32.1 is above freezing. So once you get there, you're looking at primarily rain. And then this moves out quickly by the afternoon. You know, we're long gone with this precipitation. So when we look at what's going to fall, I do think we'll see a brief mix of ice in these areas, but it's going to change quickly. It, where it's going to be locked into ice the longest is right there. And I know even though I have snow on this map, there's just not going to be a ton of it. Here's the timing of everything. And this is a rough estimate. And I know I couldn't fit every city on here. And people always say, what about my town? What about my town? It's physically impossible to put everybody's location on here because the graphics become unreadable. So what you got to do is like, where am I closest to? Who's closest geographically to me? That's where you need to look. And so right now, the Boone area, I do think it starts to snow, changes to ice, and yes, even rain. Hickory, this is the area where we're probably Hickory West. So think Morganton, Lenore, Taylorsville, the Statesville area. That's probably where we see the ice the longest, but even there it changes the rain. Gastonia and Charlotte and the surrounding area, Concord, you know, Mooresville, you know, Kannapolis, Huntersville, all these areas around Mecklenburg, the Metro Line area. Yeah, that's where we'll see a brief mix of ice in the morning. And by eight, nine o'clock, it changes the rain. And Monroe and Rock Hill, I think it's just solid rain. I mean, could we see a little sleet or ice up in the trees? Probably, but it's not going to last long enough that I'm really, really concerned. Now, the biggest travel issues, I think this is the other thing people want to know. Hey, where am I going to see the worst traveling issues? Well, it's going to be short. It's just going to be the morning hours. If you are traveling Friday, no issues. If you're traveling Saturday afternoon, no issues. If you're traveling Sunday, no issues. It's that window of like 3 a.m. Saturday to like noon on Saturday. 
That's if you're traveling. And it's only if you're traveling in these areas up in here. So I-77 north of, of 40, going up towards Flat Top Mountain, that area is always pretty icy. 321 going up to uh, uh, Blowing Rock, Linville, that area. 421 as well is probably going to be icy. 40 between Statesville and, uh, and Asheville. Morganton to Marion. So this area. Then anywhere from Lake Lure, 26 going up through Hendersonville. So these are the areas. And again, primarily bridges and overpasses. Most of the, the pre precipitation that ices is going to be on elevated surfaces, decks, trees, branches, not enough to bring them down, but that's where you'll see the glazing. And then bridges, which are surrounded by cold air, that's where you'll see most of the issues. So let's go hour by hour with this. I'm going to kind of show you how this works. Um, we'll go slowly here. Hopefully I can pause it um, a couple times. I'm going to try to pause it. Um, I had to move the map just a little bit. So we'll go hour by hour here, kind of show you how this unfolds. So we go through Thursday, obviously no issues. You see the time above my head. Um, we go to Friday night, no issues. I'm going to stop this about 4 a.m. Saturday morning. So 4 a.m. Saturday morning, look at the temperatures. These are the temperatures near freezing, if not below, right in here. So there's some, some ice. Could there be some glazing here? Yes, but notice temperatures are probably just going to be marginal. Could they be a degree or two lower? Yes, but even then, you're looking at really marginal conditions. So we'll go a little bit longer. I'll pause it right here. This is 7 a.m. Probably the worst of it is right around sunrise and after. Temperatures fall to near freezing. Shelby, Lincolnton, Statesville. So this is where our icing is occurring. We go a little bit longer. You could see by 10 a.m., we're warming up. We're seeing temperatures in the 30s, 40s, even 50s out here is that warm air. And even in the mountains and foothills, the area where the winter storm warning or watch is right now, the temperatures are getting close to freezing, if not above. Remember, 32.1 is the magic number. Once you get there, you're above freezing. So that's why small changes in temperatures mean a big difference. People always say, hey, these are only a couple degrees. But remember, tenth of a degree is the difference between ice and, and water. So it, it's really minute differences. And then you go through time and you see by 12 o'clock, everything's changing over. And by the afternoon, it's long gone and it's a non-issue. So let's get into amounts. Um, snow amounts, it's almost not even worth putting one to two inches in the highest elevations, but most people aren't going to see much snow. It's all about ice. So here's what I'm thinking. A glaze to a tenth of an inch down to Interstate 85, um, and that does include parts of Charlotte. But here, this, the escarpment, the eastern, southeastern facing slopes of the mountains and the foothills. Um, again, remember, the mountains include all of these counties near the border down to here. That's roughly our mountain counties. Foothills are roughly right in here. And then you get into the Piedmont, the Southern Piedmont. So this is the area right here, that interface between the mountains and foothills, you know, 321. And people know these areas, Wilkesboro, Taylorsville, Hickory, uh, Caldwell County, Burke County with Lenore, Granite Falls, Morganton, uh, Marion, you know, Grandfather Mountain, Linville, Linville Falls, the Linville Gorge, um, all these areas in, in the upper parts of Burke and Caldwell. Blowing Rock is a very ice prone area, Sparta, another one up there. So these are the areas the, the cold air gets trapped here the longest. That's where you're going to see the ice. So I'll do another video talking about the whole freezing rain, warming the temperature. I know that's a whole another video, but I want to do a quick vlog update. That's what I'm expecting right now. There could be minor adjustments here. I will say overall, I expect this to be a minor event. It's an inconvenient event Saturday morning for travel in these areas that we're focused on right here for about a six or seven hour window. Uh, other than that, we're not expecting power outages, we're not expecting trees to come down, and we're not expecting a huge significant ice storm, snowstorm, anything like that. Just avoid travel in these areas for a couple of hours, maybe six hours after you get up Saturday, and then after that, it's just a cold, miserable rain.